Welcome back. This is Talk with Gaetano on Urban Television. My name is Gaetano, and thank you so much for being here and allowing us into your living rooms. With me in the studio, if you just joined us, we are talking about, about hands-on skills for the youth. And with me in the studio, we have the founder and CEO of Career Imagination Program, Mr. Jonan Kato. All right, Jonan, let me come back to you. Um, you said it started off looking at urban, uh, urban, urban sort of uh, areas trying to give back in terms of uh, identifying what uh, our professions young people want to go into. And then it has actually mushroomed into something a lot bigger than that. Yes, because it's yes. not only the urban areas, you're also doing rural areas. True. So tell me a little bit about the rural uh, aspect of this project. So we have, uh, we have other programs that we run in rural areas. Mm. Uh, and the most uh, famous one is the uh, Agriculture for Rural Youth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and what we're doing is we identify a value chain for, for, for a, a particular uh, group of youth in a certain area. Mm -hmm. For example, right now working with this, uh, youth in Mubende and uh, Ruelo. Mm -hmm. And uh, our value chain right now, this, this season is, uh, is maize. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we, we, we're connecting the youth in rural areas, our farmers, mm -hmm. Uh, to markets direct. So we have an identified market for maize at the end of this season. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 have, we have, now we're just going to connect them mm -hmm. to agro-input suppliers. People supply, for example, fertilizers and, right. and, and other things. Right. We connect them to the markets. Mm -hmm. We also uh, try and make sure that uh, we, we, we connect them to people like uh, stores. People have stores for hire, mm -hmm. uh, land for hire. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you know, to do agriculture and you don't have land, you can hire land. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So we have, we have actually de developed a CIP app. It's called mm -hmm. a CIP agriculture app. So you, we use technology. To, we are going to use technology to, this, this is about, this is, this is, this is like, should be, should, should be discussed at a later stage, but mm -hmm. we're going to launch, we're mm -hmm. going to launch this app. Fantastic. So we're going to use this app. It's going to be both on, uh, as an app, on smartphones mm -hmm. and the uh, USSD because most of our farmers don't have smartphones. Right, there right, are those right. that have smartphones. Yes. And especially the market, the, the market where they're going to say people mm -hmm. have smartphones. Mm -hmm. So you can use smartphones and, so and use normal USSD. phones, USSD, mm -hmm. to connect the young people, mm -hmm. the farmers, or mm -hmm. the farmers to connect to the markets. Mm -hmm. So on this app, we have, uh, we have uh, markets, we have uh, agro input uh, suppliers, other agro input suppliers. We have uh, post harvest, harvest, and in post harvest, we're looking at uh, things like. Um, Stores mm -hmm, for hire, mm -hmm. trucks that mm -hmm. would take, for example, transport. the goods, transport mm -hmm. the goods. Yeah. So we have a platform. We are creating a platform, an online platform, mm. for the young people to be able to connect through IT. I so we want to expand this model for the mm. rural youth in agriculture to even other regions. But mm. we are starting in. Uh, we, we, we're just starting in Nwela and Mumena. Mm. We're starting in the central region, mm. and we want to go bigger in 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 in, in, in the future. Okay, sounds very good. So, but the, so that is just for the for the agriculture mm. bit of it. Mm. We have a program, an environmental awareness program. Mm. This this just started. We haven't we haven't really ex, we haven't so really you're touching the environment as well. Yeah, but mm. we want to touch some bit of environment. Mm. And because we are in touch with the farmers and, and and the rural people, these are the people who have time to grow trees. Not the not the Gaetanos. Not the Gaetanos. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you what what aspect of the environment exactly are you touching on? We I mean environment is a very big. A, a it's huge. huge. It's huge. Yeah, but we think because we are in touch with farmers, mm. we, ca we can play a role with planting trees. Mm -hmm. And we want to, because our youth are looking at Mfunilawa. <laughs> of course. Yes, yeah. So we want to encourage them to plant trees that that grow faster, economic, economically, f you know, mm. uh, trees mm. that make economic sense to the young people. Mm. So they, they take, they so take they a short time so to grow so they quick. can return. Yeah, yes, yes. Can turn some money mm. after saying, for example, wood or charcoal. Mm. And, uh, and, 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 and we want to do this, of course, with, uh, with partners, mm. but, but that is, that is the only, that's the thematic area we're taking in terms of environment. We want okay. to help them to grow fast growing trees mm. because we're in touch with them already. Yeah. Tell me, Jonan, how many schools uh, are urban, in the urban, uh, let's say the urban area, are you actually uh, involved with, uh, going to identify uh, you know, these skills that you know, people want or need? For the past five years, we have reached at least more than 25 schools. And there would have been more, but it is important to rebound schools mm. for consistency. Mm. So, so we don't really we, do, we don't look out to doing the entire uh, central region, mm. but we want to stick to a few schools. Mm. Mm. So, and some of them are, you know, the big schools and the, you know the so-called big schools and the so-called mm. small schools. We have mm. been to Budo, we have been to Smak, we have been to 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 
to uh, Chiburi, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we also have the smaller schools, uh, the so-called small schools, but they're no longer small schools. Mm. We, don't, we don't want to really divide our yeah, yeah. audience into that. I but hear you. We have also schools in Kayunga and other Okay. Sub. So, so you're looking here, uh, and, and again, doing over some reading, over 30 student, 30,000 30, students have directly actually benefited from this uh, practical skills and training during, during, during the five years of operation. Yeah. That's quite a number of them. And, and in, in, in saying that, do you actually sort of uh, keep track uh, uh, of the youth who you actually do empower? Uh, and what do you say in terms of uh, building their skills? How has it been so far? Uh, in as far as uh, CIP is concerned, building a database is, is important for us. Mm. And, and that's why we are, we, we are good with numbers. Mm. Yeah. So we, we, when we train young people, mm. we, we, have, we keep them in our system and we try and conduct them. Because you see, this, especially the schools program, where we do the skills program, where we do the mentorship yes. bit mostly, we, we try as much as possible to, to keep in touch with young people because the young people, we took Gaetano to mentor mm. in media, for example, to Budo, and these young people keep calling us, when, when I bring Gaetano again, when mm. I bring Gaetano. So it is, it is through that that we have you know, managed to track mm. who is mm. still interested mm. in the program and who is mm. not. Mm. And some of the people who have actually benefited, some people are actually working with you here. We have mm. James who is working with you uh, as a technical person yes. in, in, in New Vision here. We have like three people in New Vision. We have people in uh, different media houses because we, media is, is one of the big component of the mm. skills we're doing. Mm -hmm. But we have people who have also started their own fashion labels. Oh, fantastic. Yes, there we have people into printing mm. downtown. Mm. We have people who are now, uh, we have a gentleman called Biancy. He's in Mukono now. Mm. He's uh, an entrepreneur. He, has, he does candles, he does soap, he does all the things. And he's now a mentor on board. We brought him back as a mentor. We I was going to ask, and I was actually going to and ask that. Yes. Uh, I was going to ask that question, Jordan. Do, uh, do these students or, not, or the, do these young people who you actually mentor and give skills to, do, they, do any of them actually come back to also mentor others to show? the success to show them what, what is possible. I mean, it wouldn't have been sustainable without finances for the past five years yes. if it was not for that system. Yes. We mentor people, and when they finish school, we encourage them to come back and act as mentors. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it wouldn't be sustainable. So most of the people we've mentored, especially in entrepreneurship skills, mm -hmm. those things like jewelry, candle making, mm -hmm. soap making, the entrepreneurship schools, skills, uh, most of them want to come back and give back. Okay. So that's, that's how we even have the capacity to say we have an outreach. For example, we have like three outreaches this weekend. Mm. So some people go here, some people go here, and we're able to fully, effectively deliver. Okay, different fantastic. Schools that's at the very same good. Time, yeah. uh, in terms of uh, skilling the youth, uh, I want to know, how do you actually choose your mentors uh, that actually empower these young people, the youth, well, with the different hands-on skills? Mm. Uh, li like I said, our approach is um student best so what we do is uh we we first for example if we if, if we approach a school mm. we we interact with the students you and first interact write, with we them. first interact with the students mm. and they write down which skills they want to learn okay which skills are they interested in uh, and then yes, we, we yes, look yes. at our database of mentors yes yes we have these mentors who have mm. these particular mm. skills mm. if we don't have who have the, who which names have appeared from the school because we, uh, we give them an option on our form there's an option do you mm. want any do you know any person in that skill that mm. can train mm. you this skill mm. or who is good at it? Mm. So if they say, for example, I want to become a TV presenter or a media person and I, I like Gaetano. Mm. Now, that's how we base, we approach Gaetano. Is we have mm. this project, mm. this, 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 you can you please? And when you say yes, mm. now we take you, Gaetano, through our delivery method because most of our mentors, not all our mentors are good at delivering for Absolutely. Example, some messages. Absolutely. So we, we train you on how to deliver, to package our message so that it fits the young people. Uh, some people are really, they really want, for example, we actually take doctors and engineers, by mm, the way. Mm. But sometimes you can take a, a person who has really studied and he wants to pass on, you know, a lot of information. Yet, you know, you just have to pick a yeah, few things. Yeah, a, I hear you. You know, here and there. And you, yeah. For example, if you are a doctor, the kids would like, some kids fear blood but they want to become doctors and they don't know at that level that in the future they will mm, be interacting mm, with mm, blood. Absolutely. And if they had known earlier, mm. because they had their 25s, they would have chosen to do engineering. So you find a doctor who is actually not really interested is asking himself, I had 25 points in PCB mathematics mm, or something, mm. I should have done okay. uh, engineering. So w when you interact with them and 
because you're in the same line, if, for example, if you interact with a doctor, the doctor will mm. tell you, my day starts like this, mm. I have to work night shifts, I have mm. to do this. And mm. then the kid's like, I'm not, I, you know, they start They can sort of start saving what they like or what they don't yeah. like, exactly. Yeah. Do, you, do you, with the mentors that you actually interact with, uh, is it a, do you get mentors who come on board, or like you said, they can't, overnight give them the entire scope of what they do because true. that would be impossible true, true. Um, but do you get a lot of mentors who uh, what, what I want to say I want to get the sort of the ratio in terms of people who accept to take on as mentors is it a huge uh, uh, is, is it a huge rate uh, it's not really huge but it's it's big enough it's good mm. enough because at the end of the day we, we, we have what we call the holiday programs because mm. you cannot train, for example, for a weekend and you think you have trained. Yeah, it's, yeah, so, it's impossible. So after that, we, 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 we invite students for a holiday program, which okay. we are organizing different venues in the city. Okay. And students come to this. Mm. We, the students we trained in schools, mm. we invite them to come back for this five-day training mm. at a particular venue where now you, the mentor you had for like two hours in a school, you have him for a whole week. Mm. So... so we do a, a it's like a wrap up of what we are mm. training the entire time, mm. mm. and that's how the, you know kids get access to these mentors. And and yes, we have some you know we have some reasonable number of mentors. We don't mm. really we, we need more mentors, mm. but still we have some reasonable number in different areas. All right, fantastic. Jonathan Kato, CEO of uh, Career Imagination Program. When we come back, we'll probably get some more details as to how uh, you look for these mentors and maybe get some more recruited right here on uh, yeah. Urban Television. And also maybe look at the education structure and how it is helping or not helping these young people get the skills that they need. That and so much more when we come back right here on Talk with Gaetano.